Hey everybody, this is uh, me, keeping it real. Um, as always, question authority. Um, I figured today that I'd do something a little different than I've been doing with this old GMO uh, lettuce thing. And for those of you that don't know what a GMO stands for, it stands for Genetically Modified Organism. Now, um, recently, uh, if you've been reading my blogs, uh, I found a head of lettuce in the back of my fridge from Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday, that was about six days, six, six or seven days ago, um, that I found out I had a lettuce in the back of the fridge in a bag, and I took it out of the bag, and, well, uh, it was still crispy. It looked like I had just pulled it out on Super Bowl Sunday to, to make taco salad with it. Anyways, um, I was pretty surprised. I didn't know it was GMO, and I'm only assuming that it's GMO. At least at that point I was. Now I'm pretty sure about it. But I've uh, been posting pictures quite regularly over the last six days about its progress, and I decided to show you a video today about it. Um, today is the sixth or seventh day that uh, um, I've actually had it uh, in a bag um, underneath that tarp, uh, underneath the canvas to the barbecue grill. So um, I guess I'm going to have to pull it back. So the camera's going to jiggle a little bit, but uh, I figured I'd show you. Okay, all right, hold on one sec. All right, as you can see, there's the, there's the bag of lettuce. I'm going to open it up for you. And there it is, just like I said it's been. You know, I said the Walmart bag, but it's actually a Myers bag. I'm going to open it up. Kind of hard to do. Hold on. All right, remember, this is a 38-day um, head of lettuce, and uh, it's no doubt genetically modified, which uh, I'm going to explain it to you before I show you that uh, what it means is company called Monsanto, uh, the makers of Roundup pesticide for your grass, keeps the pests, uh, uh, you know, the bugs and insects off your vegetables and stuff. They pretty much uh, have uh, taken over the farming industry and replaced all their um, uh, the seeds with genetically modified seeds that have pesticides built into them. Um, I've always believed that they've been dangerous and this is actually my first time. Uh, up close and personal with a piece of GMO um, makes me want to start testing things like corn and, and uh, tomatoes and all sorts of other vegetables to see if they do the same thing that this head of lettuce does. Anyways, this is the head of lettuce. It's 38 days old and as you can tell it's really not that bad and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna it's still kind of crispy. You can see it in the pull off this layer right here. I mean it's like it's two days old. It's still very crispy. Um, I don't know what to make of it. This is the first time I've actually picked it up. And I'm half tempted to, uh, to cut it open to see if it's moldy on the inside. But as you can tell, it's really not. It's just outside on the edges. I mean, I could probably peel for quite some time. You can hear it. It's pretty crispy. Still. Anyways, that's a genetically modified organism. Uh, uh, the store where we bought it at is called Lumpics. It's down the street, and uh, it's kind of like Harding's. But uh, no information on the packaging for the head of lettuce that indicates that it's a um, genetically modified organism. Um, it's not even real lettuce, as you can tell, because it doesn't mold. I'm willing to hold it in my hand after 38 days. I mean, the old head of lettuce that I grew up with would have turned into a black mushy pile of <laughs> by now. 
anyways, uh, I thought I'd show you that. Uh, I'm going to try to do something regular. I don't know how often I'm going to do it, but uh, I'm going to try to do something regular with this video as far as my studies, my research, and my messages to you. So, I guess with that said, this is Mike, keeping it real, as always. Peace out.